in this video I'd like to take a moment in the rational numbers worksheet, practice worksheet, to show you some features of your graphing calculator that can help you do these conversions back and forth between decimals and fractions. So, and to simplify fractions as well. So 0.4 is a pretty simple decimal, 4 tenths be written as a fraction, but it simplifies to 2 fifths. And if for some reason you didn't know that, you could put 4 tenths, there's a fraction key, the B over C key on your calculator, and then there's a fraction to decimal button, F to D or D to F, it goes either way. And if I hit enter, it'll give me the decimal fraction back and forth. If I just want to reduce the fraction, and I put in four tenths, and hit enter, then it will give me the reduced form, which is two fifths. So the fraction to decimal key and the BC keys are helpful in doing this if I'm just changing these and want to simplify them. Now with a repeating decimal, you can kind of actually work that out as well. Uh, if you aren't sure and didn't know that this was 4 ninths, you can say, well, how do you know it's 4 ninths? Well, one of the rules with repeating decimals is the number of digits that repeat is how many nines there are, and whatever the, the repeating digit is goes on the top. But I could actually, if I didn't know that, put 0.4 and just put a whole bunch of 4s in there so that it gets the idea that this is repeating. And then the fraction to decimal button, if I hit that and enter, it'll actually give me the fraction 4 ninths. So it will convert it for me. I have to make sure I put in enough 4s that the calculator knows that this is really a repeating decimal. And so we get 4 ninths for that as well. So if I'm looking at the next one, 0.13, I should know this is 1399s and question might be, well, this 1399s, is that reduce? And if I hit enter, you can see I still get 1399s, so no, that's not reducible. And if you didn't know that 0.13 repeating was 1399s and you just wanted to make sure, I could put in a bunch of those and go fraction to decimal, and it would give me that 1399s as well. So, so there's a couple ways to use the calculator to help you go back and forth between fractions and decimals. And to simplify as well. So if I had 0.25, and I know that's 25 one hundredths, and I know that reduces to one fourth, but if for some reason I wasn't sure, I could always put in 0.25, fraction to decimal, and it'll give me the one fourth there, the simplified version of it. Or again, 0 0.85, I know that's 85 one hundredths. But if I wasn't sure about that, 0.85 fraction to decimal. And see, that one does reduce. So it reduces down. And I could have actually done it this way 85 one hundredths. Just hit enter, and it would have given me 17 twentieths is the reduced. And that's because both of these can be divided by 5. If you divide them both by 5, that's sort of the way you would manually do that. Just look for the greatest common factor, which is 5. And so 85 divided by 5 is 17. 100 divided by 5 is 20. And then, so this would be 11 99s, which actually reduces 11 99s. See on this? to one-ninth, and again, if you didn't know that that was 11 99s, you just put in a bunch of ones, and you go fraction to decimal, and there it gives me the one-ninth for that as well. So there's a few tricks you can use. If you're starting with the fraction to decimal, again, we can just use the same technique, one-ninth using the fraction key on the calculator. And we go fraction to decimal, and then it shows us it's 0.1 repeating. And the way we show repeating decimal is put the number that repeats in the line over it. And I want to do a couple more just because the notation is important. So if I have 1 99th, so 1 99th, fraction to decimal, so you get 0 0.0101. So you have two numbers repeating, which makes sense. You have two nines, so there should be two numbers repeating. 
And all I need is those two numbers in a line over both of them. And that indicates that they both continue on forever. So 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So if you keep that in mind with this, that means we have three numbers that repeat. And it's going to be 0 0.001, all three of those repeating for that. And you can see that if we put it in the calculator. 1 over 999, fraction to decimal. And there they are, 0 0.001, 0 0.001, 0 0.001. It just continues on. And you only need to write the numbers that repeat, and you don't need to write more of them. And you would just leave it in that form. You don't have to write additional numbers down. The bar over the top indicates the digits that repeat, and so we know that it would be 001, 001, continuing on throughout. And so that's how you can use your calculator to help you with those problems.